media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Chinese vehicle manufacturer Beijing Automotive Group and South Africa's Industrial Development Corporation has announced the establishment of a new vehicle plant to be located in the Hucha Industrial Development Zone near Port Elizabeth. Irma Fensai tells us more. The Bike IDC plant will be the first new car plant to be built in South Africa in 40 years. At full capacity, the 11 billion rand joint venture plant will be able to produce 100,000 vehicles a year. Bike will be the major shareholder, holding 65% of the venture. The IDC will hold the remaining 35%. The JV will roll out in two phases. The 4.25 billion rand first phase will have the installed capacity to manufacture 50,000 units a year. This is expected to double in phase two. The plant should reach its 50,000 unit capacity by 2022. The implementation of phase two should be completed by 2027. The first phase will include a body shop, paint shop and assembly line. It will produce a small car, small sports utility vehicle and pickup. Bike has set a target of 60% local content for the vehicles to roll off the Kucha assembly line, with the parts to be sourced from new and existing component manufacturers in South Africa. Plans for the bike plant include the future construction of a supplier park in the Kucha IDZ to facilitate part supply to the assembly line. Construction of the new plant, which will start in December, is expected to be completed in the first quarter of 2018. More than 2,500 jobs will be created during the construction phase, and around 1,000 people will be employed in the plant during phase one, with another 10,000 jobs to be created throughout the automotive value chain. The first bike vehicle to go on sale in South Africa will be the D20. This hatchback is undergoing homologation and should go on sale later this year. Bike intends to establish 25 dealers during its initial rollout in South Africa, which it believes will cover 90% of the available market. Bike says the plant is central to the company's global expansion plans, with exports from South Africa to flow to Sub-Saharan Africa and North Africa, and also eventually Europe. That's Krimo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.